Excuse me. I'm talking to you. Get off our roof. No, it's no good hiding over there. I know you're coming back. Now come back and peek at me in a minute. You watch. Here he is, look. Yeah, I can still see you. I know you're there. Please get off our roof. I ain't feeding you today. Hello, good morning and welcome to sunny Scotland. Good morning. Maz is in the background with my favourite jumper on. I've always liked you in that jumper, you look beautiful as always. I said it's probably one of my oldest, it's from Next. <laughs> I've always liked that one. Thank you. So, quite a bit to talk about today. <laughs> so, we're going to go off today, we're leaving the campsite, we are gone. Uh, we were all refreshed yesterday, weren't we? Ready to go. Yeah. yeah. And, and then we woke up late. Really late. <laughs> and couldn't be bothered, it was cold. Just come, we just had no energy in us. Well, I don't know why I got up so late because I do get up a lot earlier, don't I? And then I didn't get I to sleep know. till late, I'll admit that. But I did, I slept like a log last night. But so, Mazzy suggested, <laughs> yeah. do you want to stay another one night? I said, I don't usually would ask, I wouldn't usually ask. <laughs> So we'll continue this in a, in a few minutes. Yeah. I want to now go on to screenshot time. Screenshot time. First one is from Jane and Stephen. Thank you very much. Thank you both. Uh, uh, we saw them again yesterday. They came back with some John Smiths for me and oh, for they Mazzy. Were such a lovely couple and you really didn't have to do this. But you they did. Thank you. A, yeah, I awfully appreciate it. They got me a gift look, posh little bag look from Puppies. Which is a garden centre, we believe. Yeah, they went for breakfast. And look what I got. Oh. It's so cute. Now, I don't know if it's a troll, an owl, it's or Father a, Christmas. Father Christmas, I think. So that needs hanging up over there. Yeah. With all his. Jingle jangles. Yep, yeah, Mazzy's corner. Yeah. So thank you for that. Thank you awfully so much. Uh, right, what's my next one? Ah, this is a good one. Thank you, Ian West. Uh, I'd like to inform you, because I know you're heading north, the Black Bar. Do you remember the Black Bar? Black Bar, no. That's the big, steep, windy road we went on and we've done a oh. video and it got hundreds of thousands of views. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's closed in oh. October. And it was in September, so... Heads oh, up. thank you very much for yeah. Thank you for letting us know on that one. Yeah, and if anyone else is heading that way, at least you yeah. know that it's been informed. It's now. shut. Oh, okay. I don't even know if we were planning to go there anyway, was we? Uh, probably. Yeah. Because I like Apple Cross, which is the other side. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. Um, and someone told me, did you know the oldest ever Indian was called John Smith? Yeah. You I thought, shut up. You told me this yesterday. That ain't an Indian name, John Smith. I looked it up anyway because I'm stupid and naive and I fall for everything. And it's true. Mm -hmm. It's true and he looks like a lizard man. He looks like the elephant man. I'm not being rude, but he does look like the elephant man. Look at him with scaly skin and everything. Now, I can't remember what it said now. Oh, here we are. There's, it's rumours, it's rumoured, he's reputed to have been 137 years old when he died. <laughs> Um, because when he was born, it was during a meteorite in the 18-somethings or something. But they reckon it might just be a load of rubbish. Um, and he looked like that because he had some kind of disease and he was about was he 90. From? Well, he probably had the elephant titus thing, like the elephant man Yeah, had. possibly, possibly. Yeah. Where was he from? Uh, America. They were at Minnesota. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, that was quite interesting. Yeah, then. so yeah. oldest ever, yeah. apparently. Um, Native American, I think he's proper title would be it's called john smith very interesting moving on what else have i got on my screenshots for you today oh massive thank you now this is why one of the reasons i said okay let's stay another night massive why? massive thank you to dave and kathy oh thank you so much both of you yeah i woke up and i hadn't much. told mazzy yet and then she <laughs> no. says can we stay another night i says well you know what thanks to dave and kathy 
we can. Yeah, thank you both. Awfully, awfully appreciate Dave that. and Kathy sent us a yeah. bit of money and said uh, uh, the, the, the campsite is on us, basically. Yeah. So, so really massive thank that. you. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it touched me, that. Yeah, yeah so that I, don't happen. <laughs> so, yeah, that's awfully kind. So I went rushing up to the office. I says, can I stay another night? Yeah. Yeah, why? Because uh, Dave and Kathy said I can. <laughs> We've got to move pitch, but We have got to fine, move pitch. Fine. Now, we love this pitch because we're right next to the bin, not far from the showers, toilet empty and perfect. But apparently there's someone coming on here tonight and their friends are going on the next pitch, so it'd be too hard to jingle and jangle it all. So we have to move five pitches down as soon as the we're black just, van has moved yeah, off. Yeah, we're just waiting for them to move so we can move and then we can crack on with our day. Because we've got a little bit of a plan today, haven't we? Uh, we're going for a walk on a railway line. Yeah. A like... disused railway line, don't worry. Yeah. We're not going to get run over by a train. Uh, apparently on the map it shows it's a dog walk go under this lovely bridge over there and it ends up at some beach depending on how far you want to walk yeah exactly let's just take it one <laughs> step at a time shall Apparently we it's a beautiful beach but... um need to throw this one in yeah you know yesterday i said please check that you subscribe to his channel because yeah. youtube are unsubscribing people yeah because about five people had said they'd been unsubscribed yeah so 35 people subscribed to that video oh, now that is very so rare much. very rare so that must be the reason yeah so please check that you are subscribed to this channel yeah um even if you watch on tv just subscribe anyway just take a moment go on your phone subscribe no, it's to hard us to do it on the tv if you've got a youtube just have a youtube account and subscribe <laughs> It means a lot to us. It really we're not does. that we're not bothered about how many subscribers we've got. We never have been. But it does help the algorithm yeah. on YouTube, which makes more people watch. YouTube share it more. And the more views we get, the more money we get. So at the end of the day And the more trips we have. Yeah, it pays for the trips. <laughs> yeah. So please be subscribed to the channel and click the like button. We'd really appreciate that. And a comment. All your comments add to that You're algorithm. You're asking for a lot now, aren't I you? am, yeah. It's just seeing that 35 people subscribed. Well, you may as well ask for a thumbs up now while you're at it as I, well. I just did, didn't I? Didn't yeah. I? Yeah, oh, I thumbs up. Yeah. Well, yeah, thumbs up. Uh, do what you want. It's so cute because we do ask for comments, which always does help. And there's somebody in the um, comment section. I can't remember his name. And he always just writes a little, a little something, doesn't he? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. He always just just to help us out, and I really do appreciate that. Mm. It's always like just cheers or something, mm. and it's just as simple as that. And we always read them. Just can't always reply to them. We've been on for seven and a half minutes, Mazza. Oh Mazza. God, turn it off. Still, two more things I need to talk about, <laughs> and one of them is very, very important. So Mazzy pulled me aside yesterday. She says, uh, "That ain't real, is it?" No, no, it is. It's real. It's real. I've never seen one as big as it. Mazzy were looking at my body and she yeah. says that is massive. Massive. <laughs> Can you see this? From there to there. This is probably life size, actually. It probably is life size because it is about that big. That is one hair. One hair. <laughs> where is it? It's hit. You keep pulling away every time. Can you see the size of this hair? It's hard to see because... Because the thing is, you see... It is about... F it's like that! <laughs> it's not part of the hair, so you don't cut it. And it's not part of the beard, yeah. so I don't cut it. But it's I've in between. Yeah, I've never seen it before. Uh, I need to cut it off immediately. It's there. Where? There, there yeah. Hold on, I want to measure it. Oh, yes, I got it, look. Oh, that's minging. Right, so I'm selling that. <laughs> Look at the size of that. How did we both miss that for so long? So, you know, I can grow a beard. I can grow whiskers two inches long, me. <laughs> oh. Check how low that is at. Hello. You can even read the writing on it. Hebridean, yeah. it said. Yeah, that was cool. I was just coming out to film then, and yeah. it came. Uh, that were here yesterday. I said I could hear something very low. Uh, talking of long hairs, come here, though. You've got one in your eyebrow there as well. Well, that doesn't matter. 
<laughs> I've got to get that one. Right, I've got one more problem. You right. seem to have a lot of problems this I know. morning. Oh, toilet emptying, right? I were emptying my toilet this morning, and yeah. I've done this the last couple of times. Wait there. So before we set off, I've got four of these. Right? Yeah, look, it's leaking. It's everywhere. lasting very well. It's doing very well. But this is what you do. You're meant to take the top off, yeah? Yeah. And squeeze it to the 20 mil level up here, yeah? Yeah. Try squeezing this. Oh my gosh. I am using all my effort there. Look, it's just coming up the tube now. Oh my God, that's hard work. Now. Can't you just pour it then? I'm a fit man. No, you can't <laughs> pour it. This is the problem. You can't just get it out. So you haven't got your 20 mil there then, have you? No, I'd have to yeah. really squeeze. How a pensioner is meant to do that, I do not know. I couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. It's What about tipping it up over the toilet and then squeezing no, it? No, because it's, as soon as you... Oh, yeah, up. yeah, I see what you mean. So yeah. if anyone knows a, a tip to how to do this, am I doing something wrong? Because if you put it upside down, it won't come through. Yeah, I see what you mean. Any tips, please? I can't get it out. And I've got four of these to get through. <laughs> Really bad design, oh, but as dear. far as the product's concerned, it seems to be doing pretty well. Yeah, this. It lasts yeah. a long time, you're getting your money's worth. So the birds are just following me, literally, standing there, step. There's one, he's just been sat outside for three hours, just staring at me, waiting for peanuts, and he ain't getting any. So I said to Mazzy, Well, we're moving pitch anyway, aren't we? Um, so I'm not going to tell them where we're going, and then they won't follow us. I've just been over to check on him, Mazzy. Mm -hmm. He's throwing food for birds. Yeah, the guys on the pitch that we're going to. <laughs> so they're going to be there, aren't they? Following me again. It's, it, I'm getting sick of it. As cute yes. as it is. Yeah, but you can't one day feed them and not the next. You just can't do that. I like them. If I were on my own, I'd do it. I'd just feed and feed and feed. But it isn't fair on your neighbours and stuff, is it? Having crows all around. No, you might have to stop it over there if, if we're next to a farm. Yeah. Well, I'm um, not doing it. I'm not doing talking it. Talking about waiting for you, though. Yeah. Birds waiting for you. Come on. Got me boots on. Oh, you? <laughs> yes. Come on, Come then. On. Let's go get this walk out of the way. <laughs> out the way. <laughs> I am not giving you any food. New lot can go do one as well. Go away. So this is the uh, the path. So one and a half miles to Connell Bridge, eight miles to Auburn. Nice bike ride, I suppose. What we're going this way. We are going this way. Oh. This is the other side of it, so it's a disused, old uh, railway line. Yeah. I watched a fascinating uh, YouTube video on old, disused railway lines the other night. Did you? Yes. <laughs> Wandering Turnip. Fantastic channel. Go check him out and check that video out. Uh, so this way, 41 miles, Mazzy. Are you up for it? Fort <laughs> William. <laughs> now... There is a beach someone told us about, Trailee Beach, one and a quarter miles. We're not doing that because we have to be back for 12 to move his van. Yeah, I worked it out. It takes 43 minutes to get there and then 43 minutes to get back. And like That's Dad's, pushing it. Yeah, we've got to get back and swap the vans. Because people have to be off their pitch by 12 and the new arrivals can come at half 12. So he's got to be gone by 12 and we have to be moved by half 12. Yeah. To let the new people on in case they come early. So we're just going to walk up here for a little bit. Right, so this is interesting, right? You're telling me then that the railway used to try... Oh, I can't talk today. The train went over there? No. Oh. The train went under this. This was the railway line. Oh. I was going to say, where is it? OK. That's why this yeah, road yeah. is so straight. It was a railway line. Oh, I was hoping to see remnants of the old track, you know? No, nope. I told you, this is all you're going to see. This is the dog walk, by the way, if you do stay on this site. Yeah. Uh, is it, what is it, North Ladeg or something? 
That's how it's called. I can never remember. I don't know. I think I ever did know. So this is your dog walk, which is lovely. Surrounded by trees, caravans and the sea on one side. The only problem with it is, when you are going for a walk, it's not like, oh, I wonder what's around the corner. <laughs> you can see for a mile. <laughs> you can see there's no end. Yeah. The, end to it. <laughs> there's nothing to look forward to, really. Unless you go to the beach, there is apparently a nice sandy beach up there, Trailee Beach. Just found a huge hole here. Huge, huge. And what did you say? So, well, it's too big for a hare or a rabbit, isn't it? That's correct. Or a mole. So, what is it? Don't know. It's a badger. Well, that's what I would have thought, but. But you didn't say it. <sighs> yeah, that's a badger's hole, is that? That's unusual. I thought they always sort of make combs near water. No. Like along the riverbank. Big hole there. Long big hole there. In fact, hole there. Hole there. Hole. These might be rabbits on this I side, these actually. Ones might be they're rabbits. rabbits. They're a bit smaller, yeah. But the other one is definitely uh, a badger. Oh, that would be cool. You could set up a cam there. <laughs> well, we've been walking about 10 minutes and we're still on the campsite. <laughs> This place is huge. It's massive. Now this is the section where it's um, for non-members. But look, they've got an amazing view. This has to be for seasonals. Yeah. Has to be, because there's no cars and there's loads of caravans. They're set up like seasonals with little bits outside, aren't they? And it's so peaceful down here because you've no through traffic. You've got the main road yeah. up there. You're quite a distance now though from your facilities because it is quite far. Well there's it? toilet emptying just there oh. and there'll be bins but not shower block, yeah. no. Yeah. But yeah, how nice. This would be a nice place to have a season all this. And that is definitely the seasonal I want. Very right nice on the one. very end, <laughs> away from everyone. How lovely is that, eh? There's still actually room for them to make more though along here if they wanted. Isn't there? Ooh, we even got pampas grass. That what an house! I'd love that house. Yeah. Lovely big bungalow with a Massive vegetable hole. patch at the bottom here. Oh, that'd be nice. Because the house itself is nothing special. In fact, it looks quite dated. I think we should go to here. Look, there might be some steps here because this, there's a sign. So now we're at the very, very corner of the campsite, right next to the beach. If this is still, yeah, it must be still part of it, isn't it? Yeah, they'd get a few more in here. Oh, there's a dog off its lead. Oh, he's looking at me. Don't worry. It's a lovely dog, beautiful dog. Don't know what this would have been. Could have even been an old lifeboat station, Mazzy. Could have been. It's a boat house, innit? How beautiful. So there it is. Big surprise for everyone that weren't expecting this. <laughs> Our new seasonal pitch for 2025 for next summer. <laughs> all booked, all paid for. <laughs> what a view we're going to have. Right at the end here. We specifically want it to be right at this end of the site, away from everyone and everything. Only joking, only joking. I, that. I bet they didn't, I bet some people <laughs> fell for it. Uh, if this were in a better location, well, you know what I mean. It's too far north, but what a wonderful, wonderful place for a seasonal. It is, it really is. Imagine being down here look, on the front there. Look. Yeah. It's incredible, you, you're just 20 feet away from the beach. I can imagine it's quite windy up here though in storms. So incredibly, no, I don't want to say so. Incredibly, apart from one tiny little camper van down the end there who must have specifically asked if they can go there. No, because I'm guessing this is just seasonal pictures though. Do you reckon? Oh yeah, maybe they have a seasonal just for a camper van. Yeah. But from this point, from this road here, every single caravan is empty. 
There isn't yeah. a single car with any of them now. Mazzy thought it might be all for storage, but it's not. They've all got the things out. Yeah, They've got awnings up, some of them. That's a lot of people not using it. Oh, look at that, look. Boats. Yeah, but look at this. God, that's been there a long time. Yeah. So by the look of it, you can actually bring a, a jet ski, look. Blooming jet ski. Yeah. That's so cool, isn't it? I don't really know the crack with this. I'm guessing yeah. you'd have to pay like extra for storing your boat here or... Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, I bet they've got a nice little community going here for seasonals. They seem to have everything you need. They've even got their own digger. How many campsites have their own digger? A lot. <laughs> I don't know. Look at this. What a place for a bench, eh? Look at that for a view. Just sit there all day with maybe eight cans of John Smith's. What a day you'd have. What a day. <laughs> Is that all you think about? Right, we're moving pitch. I've got to stand up and hug the fridge. <laughs> so we're deciding, we're going to back in possibly. Because when we open our door, if we back in, then we'll have the sun all day. But if we drive in, we'll be opening our door to our neighbour that's sitting outside his van. What do you reckon, babe? Back in? Level we can get it, Back in, oh, back in. <laughs> so it's not that far away. A change as good as the rest, as they say. <laughs> Lovely little pitch. It's a bit higher on this step. But yeah, look, I've got the sun now. Don't matter about the view because we can sit out there and look at it. No. Go the other way. I'm not coming out. I'm not playing out today. Mazzy's right. Yes, we do now open up to the sun, whereas we were in shade before. But that isn't the main reason we've parked like this. Most people would park facing the beautiful sea but the main reason I've parked this way is to give them a bit of privacy next door yeah, because their there. van opens up this way yeah. and we'd be opening up to them and they're enjoying sitting out eating their breakfast or lunch or whatever they're in a camper now. van yeah. so they need more room yeah it is a camper that's van that's still a beautiful view I mean we haven't got anyone in front of us <laughs> so there might be someone parking here though soon oh yeah well but hey I'm happy what next? Super glue. Oh man, she keeps going on about super glue. I ain't got any super glue. Would you run up to the shop and just see if they got some, please? It's half a mile to the shop from here. <laughs> so we got these, as you all know, to um Oh yeah, my stepdad's rubbish. He did a good job. Oh yeah, he's done a great job. To... Oh done, oh. He's done. done a great job, haven't you, Mick? Yeah, brilliant job. Will you let me explain? To hold the fridge and the drawers shut which was fantastic, but I found that these were being slippery on the cupboards and on the fridge. So I thought we'll buy two coasters. Rubber. And stick them on there and they worked perfect. Absolutely perfect. But one's come off now. Yeah, because it won't stuck on very well. He did, Mick did a good job. Excuse me. Thank you, Mick. Yeah, thank you, Mick. I'll, <laughs> I'll do it now. Yeah, I'll do it properly for you. And this one's coming a little bit loose as well. <laughs> So, yeah. Cement, that's what we need, some cement. I'll see if they've got a bag of cement. Thank you, darling. Some brush on, lock Brilliant. tight. Right, you're fantastic, aren't you? I've done my bit. Yeah. Can you hold that a minute? Want easy, though. So I just went for the toilet, yeah, after coming back from my walk. Oh, yeah. Put the camera down. I don't believe it. I don't believe it, they've found me. How did you know I'd moved over here? Yes, I know what you're wanting, but you're not getting any. No, don't come any closer. Go in the other direct. Don't come to... Oh, they're all coming now. Nope, I'm not feeding you. 
Did I really go on a walk like that? I've no idea. They just keep splitting and splitting, look. I can't show that on camera, Mazzy. <laughs> no, go down, look. I'll hide whatever. Look. So that's my trousers knackered. What's wrong with them? What do you mean, what's wrong it with them? It just adds to the character, doesn't it? Did I really go out like that, that massive hole? Like I've got you some super glue, just fix them. <laughs> got the pyjama bottoms on now. <laughs> Never mind. Right. So all I'm going to do... Oh, that brush is a bit... That's a bit cheap, Fernix. How much was this? That's £6.50. Blimey. So I'm just going to go round the rim. These are actually coasters that I bought on um, Amazon. Rubber coasters. And it just so happened to be a perfect fit. So it's got a little lip round the outside. So I'm just going to quickly fix these. Sit them out in the sun to dry. I can do it without it getting stuck to me. <clears throat> No, it's not sticking. It's not sticking, honey. <laughs> Why ain't that sticking? It's because... Well, yeah, I have still got the old stuff on, but it just don't seem that tacky, really. Yeah. Ugh. I've just remembered and realised it's actually Auburn Airport over there. So that's why we're getting all these light aircrafts coming in. Uh, right, I've decided with this camera, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think the problem is, it will only take pictures of things far away. If it's too close, it just says, Oh, I need to get flash out and I can't lift it up. It says that on the screen. Something like that. Not as whiny, but it does say that. Now, I've just noticed way out there in the sea, there's a sailing boat. So I'm going to put this on the tripod and see if I can get a good shot of it. I'm not giving you any food. Oh, lift him a Is that it all? Just a little bit. Oh, just a little Yeah, I'm going to call him Charles, darling. What do you think? Who? Your mate. Oh, well, you go away. I'm not giving you any food. <laughs> oh, leave him alone. Is that it all? Just a little oh. bit. Oh, just a little bit, look. And he's been nice, look. He's asking nicely, aren't ya? Come on, then. So Dan's got his little setup going on. I did play about with him yesterday, didn't ya? Sort of, but... Ah, oh, that's the spirit. <laughs> oh, you are nice. The funny thing is, though, the others won't actually come and eat it. You'll see them come over, but they don't actually come and eat it until Charles has had enough. Camera. We've had some weird experiences with birds so far, haven't we? This is my favourite bird so far. It just come. I'm, I am about two foot away there, eighteen inch. And to darling, just going to fill his beak now and take it back to his nest. In the meantime, I've got my camera going, and there's a, a, a what do you call them? What? A yacht. A yes. yacht. A yacht. A sailing boat. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get a bit of a shot of that at the moment. Well, you've got the yacht yard over there, and then you've got another yacht yard over... A yacht yard. Right. A yacht yard. A yacht... I was going to try and say it in Scottish, and I don't know how to. <laughs> Why do you call him Charles? Where did that name come from? I don't know, because he's quite pleasant and posh, isn't he? Posh? Yeah. You are beautiful. One thing I wish we'd have bought differently when we got this van <laughs> is it, the ramps. Yeah, now this could be a future on its own. All our regrets and all our advice. 
Uh, these, well, they're all cracked in the middle, so they're not very strong. They were a decent brand. Yes, they're a, a popular one. Yeah. But you, they don't go high enough. No. The certain sites, certain times, you just need it a lot higher. Now, where's the... I can't remember the name of the company. Oh, they come in this red bag anyway. Come on. There we go. Fiamma. Fiamma. They've been good. Fiamma, innit? Fiamma. I don't know how you Fiamma, say it. But, you know, they've lasted us for six years. We've had the same ones since we got the van, so I can't complain too much. But they don't go high enough. We do wish we got the higher one. Yeah. Yeah. So if anyone out there knows of the best ones to get which go higher, I don't want them massive, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want massive, massive ones, but I want them to go a lot higher than them. So if anyone has any recommendations, please let us know. That's probably only about six inches, that, innit? Uh, oh, I'd say that's ten inches, Mazzy. That's not... Oh, you're over-exaggerating, aren't you? <laughs> That's not 10 inches. At least 10, 12 inches. Oh, whatever. So are you glad we came to Scotland then? I am glad we came to Scotland, yeah. It's a lovely place. It's a bit cold, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we could have made it as cheap or as, as expensive, expensive as we wanted it to, really. Could have been a really cheap holiday before this week here, couldn't it? Well, our channel <laughs> has completely changed mm. direction. What what most people do is they encourage uh, super thanks, Patreon, uh, the yeah. do product reviews to get more money, and we've gone down that line. Good on them though, if they have to yeah, do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, if you have yeah. to do that, no problem at yeah. all. There and might still come a time we might have to as well, so. <laughs> we, we're far more comfortable doing it that way, but yeah. I don't think it does the channel any good. No, so, or, or our minds, because it, it's quite stressful on you, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's stressful dealing with companies and yeah. all that. So anyway, now, we're not talking about that. Yeah, I am. Oh. <laughs> so all income we have now is just from us videos, Yeah. pretty much. I'm Not not even my channel anymore, no, though, yeah. we gave that channel up for now. For now, for a bit, yeah. So we're just concentrating on one channel yep. uh, and one income, and it's not all about having loads of money. It's no. about just... As long as you can survive and be happy. Enjoying life, yeah. You know, we're not struggling financially. We're, we're borderline, but we're all right. We're just getting by. We're just getting by, um, yeah. It doesn't make you any happier having more money in your bank account. So we've Fuck. decided to try yeah. and cut all them product reviews out, certainly for now, and just concentrate on giving you a video a day. I don't want to talk about product reviews. I want to talk about how fantastic Scotland has done us both the world of good, hasn't it? I'm so glad we made that move to get off campsite for a little while. Yeah. Um, we haven't even seen the best part, though. No. That's what's annoying me. But you say that, though. I, I have fully enjoyed the last two or three weeks that we've done here. Yeah, it's this been area. Good. It's been good. Yeah. Dan was saying a lot of people will skip this area to get more north. And I tell you what, don't. Please experience this area. This well, this is the quieter area. Everyone just goes yeah. up to the NC500, which we are going to do, but... If we do, if we do, yeah. We will, because we missed it last time. Oh, OK. And but that, we... that's the best bit. That is the beautiful... Yeah. That's what I'm after. The oh. wildlife on the sea and all that and the mountain. It's just beautiful. Yeah. The cliffs. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're doing it our way this time. Yeah. Because we know what we've done before in the past and it's our choice now this time. We don't have to go by schedule or anything either, do we? You know, it might be we're, we're showing too many shots of us going for walks and stuff, but that's what we're doing, so that's, that's what, what we're we showing. That's what we want to do. That's yeah. what we want to do. Yeah. We're not dictated to anymore. We don't desperately need thousands more views. And no. We know the fuse. Gagfug views. We know yeah. what we're going to get. We, we know. know. And we also know the fuse have gone down. But that's fair play, you know. Yeah, we expected not, it. Not every video we put out is always going to suit everybody. There's all, It's always going to... You can't please everybody. But so. we will always have that niche... Yeah. 9,000, 10,000 people who come back and that watch us videos. 
Yeah. And that's what <laughs> makes us survive and our channel grow. So and thank as long you as so we're much. happy as well, yeah. Thank you all so much. And as long as our happiness, and I've se- I've noticed a difference in us both as well. Anyway, we have been discussing like how long we might be here and stuff like that. We're not going to announce all that yet. We're just going to still take each day as it comes because mm-hmm. you never know with us. Tomorrow we could go home, or could still be here for another eight months you just never know with us two <laughs> don't like planning don't like planning no but it's just see how it goes it's been wonderful so far i can only only recommend to everybody to get up to scotland way and enjoy enjoy the outdoors basically it's been wonderful and i was just talking to a guy on the other end of the site earlier he says uh uh, I won't come in summer. I only come oh, at this yeah. time of year. And I said, yeah, well, whenever we yeah. come to Scotland, we never come in summer either. We always come yeah. autumn, winter. winter. Although I have found this year coming, because the last time we were here were quite a few years ago, it's totally different. It's I feel like it's more touristy and more, more populated since we've last been here. More popular. Populated. populated I suppose yeah yeah that's a word isn't it well, well so, that, that's uh, life motor roaming yeah. and uh, camper vanning is it's massive now compared well it all to what changed it was during five six years ago yeah well it all changed during the covid yeah. and stuff like that so yeah i mean we've noticed a massive difference in it but still highly recommend anyway do you want to wrap this one up yeah so we move we're definitely yeah. moving on tomorrow yeah. Yeah. we have got plans we have i was gonna say we've got some really cool plans coming up so, so stay tuned remember yeah. please check that you subscribe to the channel if you're not just click that button <laughs> that's all we ask from you we'll give you free videos every day and we'll continue to do, do so all we need in return is for you to click that subscribe button and a little message just to let us know and that a comment that you actually enjoy our videos and while you're at it why don't you click the thumbs up and like oh, button oh you're starting to sound really corny <laughs> see you all tomorrow we love you yeah bye bye bye